Hi guys, I'm here at the Indigo at the O2 for the CMA Songwriter Series tonight with the one and only Mr. Christian Bush. Hey everybody, how you doing how Christian? You? I'm quite well, how are you? I'm great, thanks. Welcome back to London. Thank you. I keep moving up in venues every time you I really see do, you. Yeah. You're, 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 you're my good luck, John. Yeah, I know, yeah, you'll be in the main room next, yeah. next time I see you. <laughs> so, how's the trip been so far? Are you enjoying yourself in London? Oh, I love it. You know I love it here. Yeah. This is kind of a home away from home for me. And, and it, really, it has a, a, a cool part in my the, the the marrow of my career, you yeah. know, a lot of a lot of times I've started here. Mm. Every time I've started something new, I kind of come try out on you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you were kind of the founding member of CCC, weren't you? You were here the first year. Yeah, about the <laughs> so, so yeah. what have you made of the the way it's grown since then? It's been pretty huge. I, well, I'm pretty excited about it. You know, I remember the tension in the audience on the very first day of the very first C2C on the very first night. And I was the very, very first act. And I remember the, the audience not really knowing quite what to do. And I remember that everybody was kind of jumping off together. Hmm. And, you know, I was, of course, I'm the ringleader. Like, come with me. Let's go. Let's go do something we've never done. And, uh, but what I like about it is that country music is a, has in America has two pieces that are really crucial. One is the the song yeah. and how the song is made and how and that's the thing that connects us together. That's the thing that keeps us from being strangers. Yeah. And then the other thing is that in America country music is an arena art. Yeah. It's an art that live is practiced in an arena. And you don't really get that in other countries when you have to start out at the very beginning. The song will take you to a certain point and then there were there are people that you know have spent 15 years playing arenas in America and they come over overseas and they come to the UK and play a 200 seat club and it's the coolest thing ever but to get UK audiences to see an arena act in an arena for the very first time your mind is going to exist. It's huge. And the great thing about this festival as well is the opportunity for the UK artists as well. Isn't it? I mean, I know you played with a friend of mine, Gary Quinn, a few yeah. years ago at the, the Nashville Songwriters series? Yeah, it was the CMA Songwriter series, similar to what we're doing right here, yeah. but I think it was, um, I think, did I play with him in Belfast? Maybe? Sure, I'll have to ask him. Though. I think it was in Belfast that we played, yeah. played with him. And um, I think you can tell a lot about um, audiences here and musicians here and creators here have adopted country music into their blood and their bones to the point where, you know, you're about to have some real significant exports, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's going to be good. And obviously tonight we're playing at the Songwriter Series. It's an amazing one tonight, isn't it? It's huge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, these kinds of shows are always interesting because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. And what that does is it creates a, a, an incredible amount of tension and energy. It's not like we've rehearsed. Yeah. So it's fun for the audience because they're discovering songs and they're discovering uh, artists that they didn't know about or they did know about but they didn't understand the song and why the song had been written. But then on stage as artists we're discovering each other. Even though we may know each other, we may be friends, we probably are, we've never been in a band together. Mm. So tonight your band is made up <laughs> of Mac McAnally, Liz Rose, Drake White, Aaron Morris, and myself. That's not a bad band, is it? Like, right? I'd sorry, I'd That's a pretty cool band. band. <laughs> I, I, would, I would buy that record. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a good night. So, have we got any surprises in store tonight, do you think? Is it going to be a good show? Oh, I always have surprises. Um, I think the surprise for me, if I had to predict ahead of time, I think Mac McAnally is about to uh, be the legend that he already yeah. is, but I think he's about to take all of these artists, including me, to school. Yeah. And I think that's right. I think the moment that it's like when I go see Bruce Springsteen, I do it because I'm a fan, but also because it reminds me that I suck. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, that right, uh, no, well, I, I, I mean it. It just it re it resets the the bar. Yeah. And Mac is one of those artists, um, and maybe a lot of people that are new to country music don't know who Mac McAnally is. Use Wikipedia and help yourself out right here. Um, and then watching Maris Marin Morris be the the newly kind of crowned um, next you know artist in country and I think Drake um, our good people are going to discover Drake White yeah, if you he's going to be he's going to be huge, gonna be huge. Gonna be huge. Drake, yeah. and it's going to be great for him because he's an incredible singer and a great man mm. like, as a person I, I just love him mm. and um, you know fame and fortune happens to some people um, and and 
they're do they it's always because you're lucky but then it's also because you're prepared mm. when you get lucky and um, I really wish Drake that his luck meet his preparedness because he is an unbelievably talented man mm. now tell us about your new single single uh, album, because I got, it's my favorite tune and I absolutely love it really yeah man, I love it uh, yeah, I love constantly. it yeah so you had a bit of help from Bobby Bones with that one didn't you yeah <laughs> I did. <laughs> well, you know, the, the, um, new music is always special because it, it, it's about discovery, right? Yeah. You're discovering your if it's your favorite band, it's what's their next yeah. song, and if it's not your if you don't know the artist and you discover the song, you're like, oh my gosh, and discovery is usually ushered in by a friend of yours, mm. you know, or maybe it's the radio station, or maybe it's some like somebody you trust on a website somewhere. Um, Bobby Bones is a as a radio DJ in America, and he he heard the song and he was like, "Oh my gosh, I love this!" <laughs> and it just so happens that he, when he plays it, uh, everybody hears it on the radio. <laughs> so I think he was genuinely just like, "Oh, I love your song," and was so excited he played it. And then suddenly the record company had to release it yeah. because now people were hearing it. So that's fun. Yeah. Um, the other piece of the puzzle is that it's a it's a love song, and I, I and it's again a wish. All my songs are wishes, um, but this one, you know, I made a terrible mistake in my relationship, and this song was a, a literally an attempt to repair that. Mm. So, when you hear it, it's kind of a bittersweet. Please remember us for how good we are, which well, is a pretty grown-up idea. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that because it's kind of a really upbeat, kind of optimistic song, but it's got an underlying it tone of regret in it, hasn't it? It does. Well, you know, it's one of the things that I love about music. And movies are similar that way, that you can feel so good and so emotionally concerned at the same time. Mm. And it, what's a real challenge is can you do it in a song in three minutes? Mm. So in this case, um, I, I've done my best to uh, present the most beautiful version of I Miss You. Mm. And presumably that's going to be on a new album coming out soon, yeah, isn't it? Absolutely. So you've been working on that? been working on the album. I'm a bunch of songs in. Yeah. Probably, you know me, I overwrite. <laughs> so I wrote so far 150 maybe songs for this wow. record um, but I take it very seriously I think mm. fans deserve to have a record that they can listen to without skipping one mm. that's my wish yeah and uh, tell us a little bit about that album because is it going to be the same style as the last one or are you trying some different styles on it or is it really well as, as everything that I do you know it's influenced by what I what I experience. Yeah. Um, I, I live as an active artist, so I'm actively consuming music, yeah. and I'm a, I'm a fan of a bunch of bands, and mm. if something blows my mind, I'm gonna go chase it, mm. and incorporate it into my own music. But um, so far, it feels a lot like the last record. The last record, because it was a first record, had an energy of this you know, unbelievable joy. Mm. And this one has a, a little more maturity to it in that it's, um, the joy plus a whole bunch of what I've done in the last year, mm. which is trying to learn to love again after mm. a divorce. Yeah. And the, um, when I put this out on Twitter that I was going to be interviewing you today, everybody wanted me to ask, obviously, about Jennifer, because Jennifer's in town. So you're going to be catching up with her at some point? You know, I'm going to miss her. Yeah. Uh, she's performing tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and then I'll actually be back in town on Saturday. But, yeah. you know, there's a whole lot of respect that I have for her and what she's doing. and. Especially um, if, if I hang around, then it's sure to happen. Yeah. And really, what this is about for her is her solo record, and I think people should get a chance to hear that. Oh, it's an awesome record, her last album. Oh, God, I love it. It's so good. Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, so, you're going to have a good night, good night tonight at the Songwriter Night. I hope you enjoy it. I know all the fans are really, really looking forward to it. I can't wait. And uh, we will speak to you again very soon, Crystal. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Congratulations, by the way. Thank You've you. You've come a long way. Oh, no, yeah. Really Look at this. That. Look at this. I was just saying the first. Ah! I was just saying the first interview I ever did for this website was with my man Christian. That's right. And I was like shaking like that. But See, I'm the gateway drug yeah, for everything. Really. I know you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Thanks, Christian. Thank you. Thank Sign you. Bye, everybody. Bye.